Well, it's a wonderful opportunity for me to greet um, uh, President Marty Atisari, who I'm very privileged to have known and has as, as, as a friend, and whose influence in the building up of WIDA right from the early days when I was involved with WIDA has been extraordinarily important, inspiring, and uh, deeply influential. Um, the, of course, uh, uh, President Atisari's role in the world is widely known and very deeply admired, but in a small way that applied even to WIDA, which was a new institution, new kind of a uh, place uh, where research will be done, as the name indicated, or an acronym WIDA, uh, it uh, was trying to take a wider, a broader, a more inclusive view of the world, and the pursuit of development studies has to be done, it was determined at that time, uh, on a much um, a broader basis than was in, indeed uh, conventional. And in that, uh, a part was enormously uh, important part was played by um, uh, uh, Mati Atisai as one of the principal advisors and influences in the early days of WIDA. And in particular, some of his concern, including the one which you will be talking about today, I understand, namely um, the importance of equity and, and, um, and uh, the uh, issues of fairness in, in the process of uh, world, uh, the development of the world, and, and in that context, both peace and prosperity. Uh, really, well, among the major issues we tried to deal with, there's a sometimes a kind of um, artificial um, barrier raised thing, you know, uh, economic expansion is one thing, but um, equity is yet another. But that's not the right way of thinking about it. One thing, you don't get much economic expansion uh, if you are troubled with problems of inequality within as well as discontent, which often can come when some people's lives are not going well at all, despite other people's lives uh, rolling forward. Now, uh, uh, President Atisari has been very concerned with these issues for a very long time, and I remember wonderful discussions with him, and actually with his wife, Eva, also, uh, on, on these subjects when we were trying to look for a vision for wider. And I think that question remains alive today. I was just thinking about it because I've published recently a book on India, and one of the issues is that the high rate of economic growth of India has not translated into the bettering of the lives of the bulk of the population. And in some ways, the concern is not just to view it artificially separated, namely you have the growth and how you can then make people's lives better. But people's lives better is part of the engagement of which growth is also a byproduct. As I think Adam Smith noted well, well over 200 years ago, that there's nothing as important as having a healthy, uh, educated workforce with, uh, who can cultivate their skill, who can improve on their skill, and who have a sense of satisfaction in the, in the, with their lives in the community, including, uh, he discussed particularly such issues as appearing in public without shame, participating in public discussion. Now, these have been among the central concerns of the entire United Nations effort, of which, of course, Marty Atisari had been a central figure in, 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 in recent days, um, in recent years, decades, actually. Um, and I think these issues remain. I mean, in the context of India, at the moment, the people are talking about how does the growth rate have come out to be, uh, as, how, how is it not sustaining itself? Well, there are all kinds of problems, and people point to the failure to do deal with the physical infrastructure. But there are similar issues of the social infrastructure, too. That is, the potholes on the road are very easy to see, but potholes in our healthcare and education system are not so easy to detect. So I think the entire approach 
that um, uh, beginning with um, uh, director Lal Jawadana, who was the first director of WIDA, and many of us who were trying to advise him. I think of uh, other advisors like um, uh, Steve Marlin and, uh, and, uh, and others, and, and also a um, uh, uh, lot of the people working in WIDA at that time, like S.R. Osmani. We were very concerned about how make equity, make equity a part of the picture, not a detachable whole to the story of human progress. To see that human progress has to be understood in terms of what it does to the lives of the people, the well-being and freedom of the people, and to understand how the well-being and the freedom of the people feed back in making growth sustainable, not just environmentally, that too is very important, but also sustainable socially. And I, my one deep regret is that I can't be there today and listen to uh, uh, Mati Atusari speaking again. I've, I've had that pleasurable experience many times. I feel very deprived that I won't be able to have that pleasure now. But uh, I take this opportunity of um, uh, wishing everyone a wonderful time, and I minimally demand a full report as to what happens today.